up YouTube today's topic is how to clean a Weber kettle grill all right I'm gonna get a close-up real quick of how it looks see it's ashed up or whatnot it's got a lot of grease caked up a lot of people say it's seasoning or whatnot but I only believe in seasoning a uh, a smoker not really a Weber kettle so I'm gonna clean it up today before I do a cook um Back up a little bit. All right, that's my camera, man, my son, uh, in training. But here is the products that we use. Something simple. We use Dawn. Uh, I like the green just because it smells good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then I scrub it down. I use a scrubber. Buy these at any Home Depot, Walmart, Winn-Dixie, whatever. And the final product, once I am clean, use canola oil. Why canola oil, right? Canola oil, in a sense, seasons it. I use the same thing on my smoker, my uh, Big Bertha, my Shirley Fabrication smoker. But what this does is it coats it, keeps it from rusting, even though I keep it inside in my garage, keeps it from rusting, uh, etc. Especially like when I leave it overnight because it's still hot. Um, and we'll go from there. So after I'm finished, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to come back and spray it, and it's going to be good to go. All right, easy day. Water hose. Some kind of soap. Make sure it's some kind of soap. Not no cheap soap that uh, don't clean off grease or you'll be here all day. Some canola oil. You could even use, uh, a lot of people use, uh, what is it? The stuff you fry turkey in. That oil. The turkey oil, that's what I call it. Whatever. Use that. Peanut oil. That's what it is. Peanut oil. Peanut, peanut oil is awesome. But it costs a lot. You know, I'm not going to spend $30 just to waste 15 of it coating my grill. I ain't going to have them. But I use cheap $2 canola oil. I think it's a dollar or something, actually. It's the Kirkland brand. My wife decided to spend $2 instead of a dollar, but whatever. I'll spray it, coat it, light my grill, let it sit for at least an hour to let the canola oil soak into the, uh, the metal and get it shiny again. So I'm going to show you the final product after I, I'm going to clean it. I'm going to clean it, like I said, I'm going to clean it. Uh, give you another tip. This is the difference. Hold on real quick. This is the difference. Ladies and gents, when you're cleaning the grill, make sure you get all the ashes out first. Right? So if I can just turn my water on and start it. Look what have been wet. Ashes from all my other cooks. So I'm going to dump that, uh, get the rest of the ash out of the inside of here, and then we're going to start. If not, you're going to have a messy day in your yard. And keep in mind, don't do this on concrete, unless it's somebody else's concrete or whatnot. But I'm doing it in grass, because grass is easy to wash away, especially when it rains and don't have your concrete looking all crazy. And we're going to go from there. So I'm going to take all this stuff out, clean it up, and I'm going to show you the final product. Uh, I'm going to show you the final product before I light it uh, to season it or not. So we'll be back once I'm done uh, scrubbing this thing, getting done. Uh, and then you'll see the final product on how it looks. Now, show them one time, just before. The before picture. All right. All greasy and gunky. And then you'll get a chance to see the after picture. So this is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. We'll be back in a minute. What's up, YouTube? We back. I finished cleaning the grill. As you can see, I got my chimney right here. Got it lit. Uh, it's going to take me about 15 minutes for that to start shooting up. The uh, uh, fire to start flaming out the top. If you haven't seen that, it's pretty cool. Um, but once it's done, uh, I don't know if you can see, but you can see it's 10 times as different. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to get it as clean as when you bought it from the store, right? That ain't how things work. But anyway, it's pretty dang close, right? So I got it going. Let me show you the inside of the top. Make sure you spray the inside of the top too. I don't know if you can see that. You see I got the little, little canola oil on there. And uh, like I said, I'm going to let this sit for an hour. Once these, these flames get good and hot, and they start shooting up, then, uh, then uh, I'm going to pull my charcoal in here. I got some old coal from my last cook. First thing I want to burn just to get my fire good and hot so it's perfect. To, uh, season this grill again for my next couple cooks before I have to clean it again. 
All right, so I'm gonna put my, I sprayed my grill grate. It's ready to go. And then uh, we're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna come back after I got the fire on there and it's sitting about an hour so you can physically see how it looks inside of the grill. And we'll be back. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. We are back, and I am finished. And still smoking a little bit, trying to get the uh, excess off the coal, still burning like crazy. I'm going to let this go, but I'm going to show you this final product before you can actually put food on there and get to it. Hold on. You got to excuse me. I'm recording this myself. My son sold out on me and decided that he'd rather go work. Hey, me too. All right, so here we go. Alright, as you can see, you see the close up of the grill, clean tip top condition. Show you this. Real good, it's kind of hot. Ooh, that's hot. Anyway, let me put this back. Let me go back to talking. So, yeah, in a nutshell, that's how you clean a, a, a Weber kettle grill. Be on the lookout for, oh, got a surprise for y'all, all right? Be on the lookout. Got my new logo. I got t-shirts getting printed as we speak. And I'm going to start rocking my t-shirts. I love this, and I'm going to do a video on this and show you my old one that I retired. I think I'm going to retire this one as well and start rocking my t-shirts. Just more about trying to get my name out there things like that but be on the lookout like i said for an upcoming video talking about that the aprons in themselves and my my new logo as well as the t-shirt if you see it in my video you see the new intro and the, and the outro that i got that i incorporated let me know if you like that or not if not then try to pay somebody to change it up and uh and, and try something different but it was just me saying hey you know i'm tired of uh doing the same stuff so let me switch it up and give it a little twist Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Hold up. Time out. Y'all say it with me. The famous saying, I am the world-renowned outdoor, indoor, backyard barbecue. This is Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. I'll let your boy. Peace.